Hi, I'm Tracy Clark. I'm always amazed by the power of black and white photography. It conveys such a strong sense of mystique, drama, and timelessness. Color has its merits, but experimenting with black and white can add a whole new dimension to your pictures. Today, I'll show you how to create stunning black and white photos, sure to become instant classics. With today's digital cameras, you have a choice for getting black and white shots. Check your camera's manual to see if you can shoot directly in black and white. This lets you view the photo on your camera's LCD screen in black and white. Many digital cameras allow you to convert color photos to black and white, while many HP cameras even let you convert while saving the original, so you'll have both versions. I can even convert color pictures to black and white with my HP PhotoSmart Compact Printer by simply inserting a memory card. I just choose black and white from the design gallery options. And since it's all done right here on the screen, I can preview it before I print it. Contrast, the difference between the light and the dark areas of a photo, is a key part of black and white photography. Try experimenting with these three levels of contrast when you shoot. High contrast means striking black and white tones with minimal gray. It's a great way to heighten tension or add drama. Normal contrast is a wise option when you want realistic presentations of an image. Some things in the photos are light or white, some are dark or black, and some are gray. Atmospheric weather is ideal for shooting low contrast black and white photos. This keeps tones mostly in the mid-range so there are lots of grays. When I saw this scene, I knew that only black and white could do it justice. I love its moody quality. That reminds me of my next tip. Emotional occasions like weddings are perfect opportunities to experiment with black and white. Snap some group shots too. Clashing clothing isn't a problem with black and white. Black and white is an excellent way to highlight interesting textures and patterns. Nature photographs, especially those that focus on dramatic rock, soil, and wood textures, lend themselves well to black and white photography. Architecture also looks striking in black and white. On my HP camera, design gallery features let me increase contrast on my black and white photos. The sepia feature lends them an old time look. I can even apply a color tint to black and white photos right inside my camera. Like I said, there's just something about black and white. That's all for now. I'm Tracy Clark, and I'll see you next time.